All right, so I just saw a video on someone getting an honorary degree or a doctorate's degree. And it's a semi-famous person who, you know. So everybody had something to say because, you know, this person has an honorary doctorate's degree. And some people didn't even know what an honorary degree is. It's basically, if you've done work in the field, but you didn't go to school for it, but it's sufficient enough uh, to where a university says, you know what, you don't need to, you know, do all the studies, buy all the books, pay for the classes, pay for, uh, I mean, goodness, there's just so much to pay for it, you know, registration and all this other stuff. You don't have to do all that. You've done enough work in the field to where we think that you've earned a doctorate's degree. And then they give you one. And so now people have to address you as doctor so-and-so. Now, when I graduated, you know, with a bachelor's, I only have a bachelor's. I only have a doctorate's. I saw someone get an honorary doctorate's degree. And my feeling was mixed just like everybody else's. For one, what did this person do? Uh, for them to, you know, equate to what was their, you know, field of study and what did they do to equate a doctorate's degree? I was interested. Like, what? And two, I like the classroom experience. I like the whole learning experience, even the negative. Some teachers you don't like, some students you don't like. But nonetheless, you had it. It's an experience that, you know, you have for the rest of your life. I like the learning experience. I like the raising of the hand. I like learning something. You know, I, I like when some of the students already know it and then they're teaching and it's just like, wow, I didn't know that perspective of, you know, mitosis, meiosis or whatever. So that's how I look upon honorary degrees, but there are some people who've just done so much. It's like, I don't see why they wouldn't have a, at least a bachelor's degree. People like Missy Elliott. Nobody can get on Missy's page and you got a doctorate degree. Wait, wait, wait. It's like, come on. Missy's been in the game for so many years. She's topped the charts consistently. Great songwriter. Great. I mean, come on. She's been in the mix so long. You just, it's like, here, why don't you have two doctorate's degrees? You know what I mean? She's Missy misdemeanor. I mean, she's just done it big for the longest time. So I can see a university going, you know, here's a doctorate's in, you know, whatever they got, get rid of doctorate's. And I don't know if it's music or songwriting or, you know, I don't, I don't know, but she has a doctorate's degree. Now there's other people who've been in a music game and claim they had a degree or doctorate's degree and they didn't. It's just like, why would you even do that? Uh, because you, you've you been in a field, so you could actually go to a university and, you know, get that degree and be further along than someone who doesn't know about whatever field of study it was, in this case, music. But in this original person's case, um, I don't know if they got a doctorate. So music, my whole point is a lot of people are like, hey, you know, let's get rid of doctorate's degrees because you're just handing them out you know and it's a it's a fake degree it's like it's not a fake degree it all depends on who they gave it to what university uh what's the accreditations because there's different accreditations uh that's another thing people got to look at if you're upset because somebody has a doctorate's degree for one look at the university then go and look at the accreditation. And if that accreditation is backed up and is this sufficient, it's accredited university and the study. Uh, let me say this. I was looking to get into the medical field. I actually have a degree in health administration. Uh, so my degree in health administration is from an accredited school. But when I called another university, they said, you don't have the same accreditations as this degree is if we would have gave it to you. So you have to understand that there's different accreditations. Now, it doesn't say that mine is invalid because it's very, very valid. There's a lot of you know, people who went to this school. It's just that their accreditation was different than mine. 
Now there are some people who go to schools and there's no no accreditation. I don't know why you would do that. Why would you go to a non-accredited college? I don't know. Uh, but it happens. And then you have like the nursing field. You have nurses who go to certain universities, which I won't mention. And these universities are, you know, they don't have the same LI Med, you know, accreditation as in, you know, other universities. And it's just like, okay, you know, so when an employer sees that, they go, well, you got this, but you're going to need this and able to do this. So that's what I'm saying. If you people are upset because somebody's gotten a, you know, a doctorate, dip into it. Don't just scan over it and be salty about it. I mean, if you really feel some kind of way, bring some good knowledge about it. Because there are fake degrees. A lot of people all over the world handing out fake degrees. And then when people get into the field, you find out they don't know anything. Um, and they, they, they haven't done any internships. They don't have anything. They just have this degree and then it's, you know, willy nilly. So you find out real quick when they get into the field. Uh, but if somebody is, you know, fresh out of school and they show up at a, you know, internship or some type of job and it, you know, that it's a, it's incumbent upon that job to look into that person's uh, of what they're saying, what's on their resume, look into their accreditation. And when they find out that, you know, their degree is bogus, then they're just like, no, nah, we're not going to hire you. And, you know, file 13, <laughs> just like that. But, uh, but like I'm saying, there's also some people that don't get hired for jobs because you have the wrong accreditation. Doesn't mean that you don't have one. It's just that it's wrong. So I, I just want to bring that point up and, you know, big ups to, you know, these people, who are getting their doctor's degree the right way. Like I said, I like the classroom experience. I like dipping into the whys and the wherefore. I want to hear from the teachers and, you know, have discussions with them. Uh, but I also like the fact that people went out there and, you know, just dipped into it. And this is what they've been doing. And then, and then people recognize their effort and go, hey, you deserve this, you know, and if, if it's fair and square, if it's boom, right on the money, then, you know, there it is. There's, an, uh, and lastly, there's a, a, a an African man who, <laughs> who used another African man's name and he said, hey, I'm a lawyer. So he started seeing cases and turned you know, and finds out that this man has won every single case that he's had. He has like 35. He's won all of them. Then the real person who actually went to school and is actually the lawyer said, hey, this is my name. This guy did not go to uh, university, as they say. And uh, he's not a lawyer whatsoever. And uh, once they bust this guy, they go, but you know what? <laughs> this guy won all of his cases. So now what do we have? We have somebody who knows the law, who's able to practice the law, even though he's absconded with somebody else's name. He's good at what he does. What do we do? Do we say, hey, go go to college, pay all this money, this, that, and the third, you know, get your JD and yada, yada, yada. Or do we say, you know what? You earned it. Boom, there it is. So that's the question out of you guys. All right, I'm out.